Hey guys, it's Drac and the Draculina, and this is Vader's Blade Builder sword with the Nerf logo because the lightsaber itself has a foam coating, which is ultra sweet. We haven't seen any super cool in-force weapons in a while, so when I saw this, I immediately hearkened to the Vantage sword and thought that this might be a practical... You're just like sword dancing over there. I think that's in League of Legends, you can be a sword dancer. I don't know that, but um... Here is the Star Wars Blade Builders Darth Vader version. I know it also comes in a Luke. You can get Luke's uh, blade, and then I want to say you can get the old school Obi-Wan one, but I'm not positive there. There are a few different versions. The Blade Builder set is a cool concept where you can build like Kylo and all sorts of stuff out of this. I wish, I hope there's a Yoda one, like a little miniature version that you could grab that would be fun with a shorter blade. So immediately right off the bat, I wouldn't want this at a Nerf War or a LARP of any kind. This is good for like basement goofing around, but it's got a hollow and full plastic handle. So if you ever turned it around or dropped it or threw it, you could easily hurt somebody by conking them with the plastic. So with that in mind, it's gonna stay firmly in my hand at all times and definitely like, casual play with this nothing super duper competitive so we'll do a quick comparison before we do a blade test i grabbed this one at target while we were picking up groceries actually and you can see that it's already got a few dings in it so hard to find these mint if you're a star wars collector i'd say that like finding one of these in great shape your best bet is like an online dealer where they haven't been on the shelves and kids haven't been goofing off with them so comparison to length almost as long as a vantage sword my vantage sword has seen some better days let me tell you and then not even going to hesitate or attempt to do battle against the marauder the marauder is of course one of the better in force weapons of all time and has a thick outer shell so in terms of the sponginess and core here we've got a little bit of flex on the vantage sword we have a similar amount of flex very similar in build as well as coverage we've got maybe a centimeter on each outer edge there so both have uh, circular or cylindrical cores except this one goes all the way through down to the pommel and this one must stop somewhere inside this saber blade what do they call handles on like I don't know anyway so we'll do a little bit of battle I'll stand back you can take a step back and we'll see so <laughs> moves very fast Possibly because it is so very... Ah, oh, no! We don't have robot hands yet. We can't can't be taken off my hands. I need those for making blasters. So, stiffer in overall usage than the Vantage Sword, probably because of how it's attached to the handle with that solid plastic handle. The tip is reasonably spongy, similar to the Vantage Sword. I think that these are a fine pickup for their price point. I don't think that they're practical for LARP or Nerf scenarios, but if you're a big Star Wars fan, which we are, we're probably going to have to pick up another one. I think that they're fine for like indoor basement goofing off, settling of civil disagreements about who gets the last of the Jellos or what have you. You do. You always get the last jello. Anyway, that's our review of the Blade Builders Nerf version. I assume that they're all built the same way, so if you're not as big of a Vader fan as I am, you could always pick up one of the good guy sabers. But that's our review. As always, thanks for watching. I think you can pick these up on Amazon. If you can, I'll put a link in the description box below. Maybe you can get one in better shape than mine.